Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Meridingi Restorations. Uh, <laughs> this is the moment of truth video. Uh, this is the video where I find out um, whether I'm going to be able to take this apart and keep the pieces that I need intact. Um, I'm frightened. Okay, so what have I got in terms of tools? I've got a rubber mallet, uh, which will distribute load onto a panel without, um, uh, without punching through it too hard. I've got a bolster. This is a, a bricklayer's tool, actually, um, but it kind of allows you to uh, apply an impact quite carefully along a line. I use that for opening up just some of the seams like that. Um, I've got hammer, obviously, and I've got a couple of spatulas that I use for getting under the deck. Last thing is, um, just for cutting and opening seams and things like that, I've got a Stanley knife. <clears throat> what I always do for jobs like this, I use the cheapest versions of Stanley knives with the aluminium handle, but without the retractable blade. And the reason I like that is because you can put actually more pressure on the the blade and you can hold the thing very firmly with your thumb like that without your thumb actually um, pressing the retractor for the blade so you don't have the blade flying around every everywhere which I think is a real benefit so the, the, the cheaper solid Stanley knives are the one to go for do not use exacto knives for this kind of work those are the ones with kind of the multiple um, different segments that you break off when they get blunt Exacto knives tend to have um, uh, a base at the end of them so that you can reload the long blade um, and that easily pops out. Um, so I don't like those, I like the solid handle ones. Um, right, I'm going to do another time lapse, uh, so wish me luck. Okay, well, I'm calling this the end of the day. Uh, let's have a look at where we are. <clears throat> um, okay, so I've got the bottom out. <laughs> the uh, deck and uh, bulkheads are in surprisingly good condition, pretty, pretty intact all around. Um, <laughs> shroud plates even are still, still in, because of course they're screwed to the hull. Um, the actual top sides weren't quite as bad as I thought they were. Um, I think they were about 60 or 70 percent good wood in the end, but the the bad wood was patched in, or, or the bad work was kind of patchy all over it. So I would have had to have made a real patchwork quilt out of them. So I'm glad that I've I've got rid of those. The uh, <laughs> The floor of the dinghy is just a, wow, what a mess. Um, you can see most of the damage down here where the water sits when um, when it's in storage. Look, you can see the whole panels have just kind of completely rotted through. That is just, there is just nothing there. Um, this, this bit has been fiberglassed over nicely, but when you pull out under it, that's what happens. Um, moisture gets trapped under the epoxy like that. It looks great, but it's, uh, it's totally rotten. I've yet to take the centerboard case out of there. Um, I mentioned earlier that the, the insides had been patched just in, in the front buoyancy tank. Patch one, patch two, patch three, patch four, patch five, five patches over the years. And I don't know, I have a feeling this pink paint was me trying to protect the insides of the buoyancy tanks, but God knows what I was thinking. 
probably just had some spare paint. Um, good news from the bottom of the dinghy, the rubbing strings have come off um, very easily and completely intact and they're completely sound as well. So the old glue, the Aerolite or whatever it's called has just failed. Um, so I'll be able to reuse the rubbing strakes. Um, that's good news. I've got my stash of uh, reusable timber here. As predicted, the side panels are in a pretty good condition. The bit that I was most worried about is down here. Uh, let's have a look. I haven't actually had a chance to look at this myself yet. Um, yeah, see, that's actually not too bad. It looks a bit, a bit hazy. Um, but I think that that's actually that's sound enough to work with. This is great news. Great news. Yeah, so my instinct was right about that. It's just a bit discoloured. Um, underside of the decks looks nice. <laughs> decks have obviously been replaced. Well, I know they've been replaced. I replaced them, but um, they're obviously completely sound. Um, the bit that I worry about is actually down here. <coughs> How much of that rot has gone into the bottom of those the bottom of these bulkheads um, actually more than I thought so this is gonna need a patch probably I don't know what to do quite I don't really want to replace the whole bulkhead <laughs> replacing enough as it is I think I've got enough spare timber that I can um, this bulkhead is probably completely destroyed as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to think carefully about that. Think carefully. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do, not tonight, is actually take some careful measurements of this and see whether the most sensible thing to do is actually use this as a jig for building the new hull skin over or whether to um, actually take this assembly apart and essentially rebuild a whole new boat. Um, we'll figure that out as we go. Um, in the meantime, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with the, uh, the chaos in the boat shed. Um, tune in next time.